Hello, I'm Kolya and welcome back to my Scratch tutorials. This time I want to show you how to jump onto things. If you want to, to see how to move around and jump, I suggest you watch my other video. But today I want to show you how to actually jump onto things. As you can see here, um, I reused the code from my previous tutorial and it doesn't work just right. As you can see, um, I can jump into things here and strange stuff will happen. Um, so I want to show you how to how to get this better. To uh, get something to jump onto, I added this figure here, which I called ground. And it just contains a couple of ledges to, to jump onto. I could use any color really, but I chose to, to stay with the, the brown one. And uh, using a, a dedicated figure for this allows me to use um, different costumes for different levels. Once so I want to add more levels to jump around in. Uh, instead of the cat I used in the previous tutorial, I have just this uh, little ellipse form thingy because um, it makes things a little bit easier. It, uh, for example, it won't hang on its whiskers on the on the ledge or something. Um, there are ways around that, but I I will come to those in another video maybe. So for the time being, this is the code um, that I showed in the in the moving and jumping tutorial. And now I want to do some changes to um, to jump around here better and especially not jumping into things. Um, to do that, um, I will change this touching color into a touching an object, which will not really do very much, but it allows me to use um, any any object in my, um, any colors in my, in my ground object. Um, let me just, Pick that here from sensing, touching ground, and touching ground here. Move those away. And as you can see, it's basically the same now. And um, next thing I want to do is uh, prevent him from jumping uh, mo or moving into the ground. Let me just show what I mean. Um, I will add another block here. And um, right now it's possible to just move over it. And when I jump into it, it's, it's really not looking very good. So um, back to my hero and the purple cape. Um, we have a couple of blocks here. We have this um, these velocity variables for x and y, x and y. We have this forever loop where um, we check for right arrow, left arrow, and up arrow. Actually, let me just change this to spacebar to jump, and then we change the x. And we change the Y and we do some falling and check if we touch the ground and stuff. So um, I want to move the uh, things a little bit around. Um, so all the keys are one after another now. Still, it's only jumping when it touches the ground. And it will also do the falling here. So it increases the Y velocity every round. And now, uh, so this, this first block here is reacting to key presses. And the second block now um, will do the actual physics. And, um, oops, if you remember, I put this 
change y by 1 and change it by minus 1 so that I actually lift the figure off the ground for um, for checking whether or not um, I can actually do the movement. So I will um, do the x change and actually this here is similar to um, to the gravity so I put it after the I put it just just here to the to the gravity effect this, these are the the physics effects this one is slowing down this one is falling down so I would change or change the X by the X velocity and then um, just like I did with um, with this falling, I would check if that's actually a legal movement. So if it touches the ground after moving left or right, that means it moved into a ground block, like here. And I don't want that. So um, if I detect that, I will do an opposite change here. Um, change x by oops by um, vx times min minus one. And that will just negate this movement. Also, um, I will set velocity of x to zero so it stops and then I do the same for y almost the same I change by the velocity check for touching the ground if it does I undo the move and set the velocity to zero so check that now when I hit the block it just stops and jump against it it will just bounce off okay so i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and uh, i will see you next time don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and uh, see you next time bye bye